Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to place your videos or tracks inside of a shape or object. And this will work with text too. So I've got my timeline open, and let's drag a couple clips on the timeline. I have this clip of these people dancing, and let's say I want to put this within a custom shape that I made. So one, you can do this all right within Premiere. If you go to the title menu and go to new title default still, here's where you could type out any text that you want. Or if you didn't know this, if you head over to the right side under the title tools menu, and if you don't see all these menus, you can always go to window and find them. I just usually use the default reset workspace. But in the title tools, we're able to do a few things. So yeah, you can use your typical text to type out stuff. And that's how it would work with text. But if you want, there's also these common shape tools like rectangles, ovals, lines, etc. So you could build simple shapes right within this title editor. For example, I could build this rounded rectangle and create some shapes. If you hold shift, it'll constrain proportions. And then I can do other things like these half triangles and just create some custom shapes for me to use. You can also click on the pointer tool so you can always adjust the size or position of any of these. And that's actually a pretty decent way to build different simple shapes and titles with the title tool right within Premiere. Now you should see it in your project media bin for us to drag on and use. However, if you wanna get more complex into different shapes and the pen tool and these simple shapes aren't really working, you can always go to file, new, Photoshop file. And if you have the whole creative suite here, you can press OK. It'll create a new Photoshop file, the same size as your current sequence, and it'll automatically open it up in Photoshop for you to quickly create a shape. So for example, you could go to the custom shape tool or use the pen tool or whatever you want. But here you have a whole larger assortment of shapes to choose from. So you have the spades, hearts, diamonds, all different types of shapes, and you can click and drag them out in Photoshop just like before. I'm using white as my foreground color and then position them how you want within that 1920 or whatever your sequence size is. And when you close and save that document, you'll, you'll also see that pop up in your project media bin. So now I have these shapes and that's just two different ways you can create them. You don't have to use Photoshop if you don't want. But let's click and drag them on to our project above the video clip track. And now you can see we've just got our shapes right on top of the video, but that's not what, exactly what we want. We want the video to be inside that shape, and it's pretty easy to do. So let's go to the Effects panel and find an effect called Track Matte Key. It should be in the keying folder of the video effects. So you want to click and drag this onto your actual footage clip, and in the Effects Control panel under the Track Matte Key that we just put up there, you can choose what mat you want to use, which is pretty much the shape that you want to define. So here we can choose Video Track 2, which is the track that the shapes are on. And you can see it automatically uses that to insert our video into or define the mask for our video to be placed into. So you could see we could create the ones with the text title tool. And remember, we could have put text in here instead of a shape. Or you can create different Photoshop documents to use as your track matte mask and it still works. Additionally, this black space is actually transparent. So if I was to want to work on a track underneath all that stuff, I could just place other graphics or video clips in that space and you'll see that they'll appear behind the new mask that we made because it's transparent, it's not black. So from there you can combine this with different opacities and keyframes and fade in and out to create cool little title splashes or mask screens with this effect. But that's the basics of how you place footage inside of any shape or text or object inside Premiere Pro. So if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my new future videos and check out the playlist on my channel for more Premiere Pro and other tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Twitter, Instagram, all that. If you want to reach out to me, show me an example, DM, whatever. I do live streams, pictures. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.